often than not, Filipinos would rather not leave their families just to earn a living abroad and would often say that if there were only enough opportunities to do just that in our country, they'd much rather stay. Something a lawmaker believes could possibly happen if certain economic provisions of the Constitution are actually amended. Menelas Moras has more. Ralph has only been working as a social media manager in Abu Dhabi, UAE for a few months now, but he already feels the hardship faced by an overseas Filipino worker. He shared he is sad to be away from his family, even more to be around people with different cultures and beliefs. If only there were enough opportunities in the Philippines, he said he wouldn't go far away. Para sa akin, mahirap talaga maging isang OFW. Unang-una kasi malayo ka sa pamilya. And of course, may mga, ano, may mga okasyon na hindi maiiwasang mamiss mo kasi malayo ka sa Pilipinas. So, hindi naman pwedeng agad-agad makauwi ka ng Pilipinas kasi medyo malayo siya. And of course, mahal yung pamasahe. During the continuation of the House Committee of the Whole's deliberation on the resolution of both houses number no. 7, pushing for economic charter change, Orion Perez Dumdum, co-founder of the Correct Movement and a former OFW himself, emphasized that once the economic charter change pushes through, it will keep mass numbers of our countrymen from working abroad. He pointed out this measure will bring more foreign direct investments, which will then lead to more opportunities and higher wages. Makikita po natin yung mga kababayan. Ang problema talaga ay nasa konstitusyon natin, nasa saligang batas. Kaya baguhin na po natin ang saligang batas. Tanggalin po natin. Let's please delete all anti-foreign direct investment restrictions. This is coming from an OFW who has seen a lot of the problems caused by this. House Deputy Majority Leader Janet Garin agreed with this. As a medical doctor, she also had colleagues who chose greener pastures, which she think can be avoided if only we have a more open economy. Dito tatlo lang ang sinasabi. But if we open it up, even for research and for many other aspects, hindi po ba ay yung ating mga magagaling na scientists, engineer and professionals will be back in the Philippines. Hindi po ba ang ibig sabihin, Mr. Chair, ng RBH-7 ay bubuksan ang Pilipinas para meron tayong mga kumpanyang makaka-afford ng mas malaking sweldo and it will redound sa mas maginhawang buhay na bawat pamilyang Pilipino. On top of this, retired Supreme Court Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio also faced the congressional deliberations. Carpio said the current separate cha, -cha proceedings in two houses of Congress are consistent with the Constitution. I agree that under the first mode of changing the Constitution, as stated in Section 1, Paragraph 1, Article 17 of the 1987 Constitution, the House and the Senate can meet separately and vote separately by three-fourth votes of all the respected members to propose amendments or revisions to the Constitution. The Constitution uses the word Congress and not Constituent Assembly. The term Constituent Assembly does not appear anywhere in the Constitution. The discussion in the lower house on economic cha, cha is expected to continue in the coming days so all sides could be heard. As of now, even the Mahabayan bloc said the filing of any petition is not appropriate right now. Siyempre, premature pa yan mag maghain tayo ng petition sa Supreme Court unless uh, hanggat hindi yan natatapos. Kung sakali na merong magpa-file ng, ano, no, ng, uh, ng petition sa Supreme Court pero siyempre, uh, wala, hindi naman siguro natin mapipigilan yung ating mga kababayan na um, kung ano man yung pwede nilang uh, magawa. Melales Moras from the National TV for a new and better republic.